right, so this is uh, just a really simple tutorial. I'm just going to try to show you guys how to use BandLab and just get a couple of loops going in. I'm doing this pretty much for all the grades. The first week it's going to be pretty simple. You can look back and follow this. If you have any problems, you can email me and uh, we can try to sort it out. Or really, on if you signed up for the site, for the BandLab site, you can just put it on your class. You could send me a message and it's there. You could send me any sort of message. So first thing you do is you're going to go to mix editor. So you see where the, my cursor is right here. I just press on that. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to load up. Now you have all these choices for today. We're not going to worry about any of this instruments, drum machine, voice, mic, guitar, bass. We're just going to go to browse loops. So I click on this, and if I see here, I have all these different loop packs that has different sounds. You can just click on them. You click on one over here, let's say experimental tape music. It'll give me some sounds. I can hear it. I'll get into it in a second, reset. So I'll go back to loop packs. They go all the way down. There's tons of them. So you can spend hours just searching for the loops. Loops are just sounds we know. We've done it in class before. So I know which one I want you to use today, or I'm going to give you an example with one that I want to use. You're going to, for your homework, I'll give it to you on the assigned sheet. You're just going to get some loops together. So I'm just looking for a specific pack that I know I have. It's called this. Sinister Trap Mega, just because I felt like it. So I have all these things over here. Now, if I look over here, it says Jean's Instruments. Like, so if I look at my instruments, I click on this, I have all these different settings, piano, synth, voice, pad. If I want, I'm just going to click on drum. So I want to start off with the drum. So I could listen to my drum beats here. I click on it, it's pretty good. This is this one. And so I like this one here, the first one. I'm gonna take it, I'm just gonna drag it in. You see, so I drag it in the square. Now, we have a little bit of a problem. Right when I put it in, this is my first bar, this is my second bar, third bar, fourth bar. I want it to be a four bar loop. So I'm going to grab this, going to move it right over here. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to make sure this loop is four bars. You see this little part here? So I'm going like this, that's four bars. If I want to make sure I loop it, I cycle it, okay? So let's say I made a mistake, I don't like it, I right click, let's redo this again, delete my track. Boom. Well, I'm back to browse loops, okay, doesn't matter, I was still back there. But here, caution drums, I take it, I put it in, bingo, over here, I put it there, I make sure my loop button is on. This is the loop button or cycle button, and then I press play, let's listen to it. I like it, so I'm going to stop that. Now, next, what I want to do is I want to add a bass. So I'm going to go here, bass. And you know what? I have some different caution bass. So since it was caution drums, they probably sound good together. I noticed they're the same tempo. Let me check it out. It's here, number four. It's pretty evil. I like number two, so I'm going to take it again. I'm going to drag it. Now you see it's not lined up, so I'm going to take it, move it over here, and I got this. Let's check out sounds. Okay, pretty good. I'll press pause. Now, next, let me get. I think I'm just going to use a pad. Oh, what do you know? I have caution pads again. 
pretty spooky. What about this one? That one's a little too evil. I'll just take this one. That's the one I like. I had listened to them before. So again, I drag it here. And I move it over that it's lined up. I'm making sure that it's always lined up. So let's check it out. See how it repeats? So that's pretty good. I stopped it. I can also press the space bar if I want to stop it. So my last thing for today is I just want you guys to get a couple of loops. I'm going to get some strings. So let me look over here. So strings, strings are like, you know, violins, that kind of stuff. Let's listen to them. It's a little too evil. I like that one. So I'm going to put it in. It's going to be a little crazy, but we'll put it in over here. So here I go. You know what? I actually don't like the way it sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'll go here, right click the track, delete track. And let me just get another string here. Let me try this one. See how this sounds. I might not even want strings. Who knows? You know what? And I think I might not want the bass right now. Just listening to it. Let's see how it sounds. I can mute this, right? So no sound. Okay, so I have a four bar loop. It's not really a song yet, and I'm probably going to just get into it next week, how we do a song. But let's try to add one last thing here. So let me go in. Let's see what synth. Let's see. The, I'll use, I'm just using today caution ones. You could actually mix and match whatever you want, though. But no sounds coming out when I click it. Might be buggy. That's pretty cool. It's like a horror movie. Almost the same thing. Notice it's an octave higher, but I like this one. This is a bit more space. I'll put it in. Let's see how it sounds with it. Let me check it out. And basically, right now, I have a song with loops. Now, remember, if you see that it's not looping together, it's that. So you have this song, put it in. Okay, so once after you have that, you're just going to press save. Now, it's saved, project saved, right? Let's go over here. Let's check some things out. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Project save. I could download my file, but... Right? I can also call this Mr. G best song ever. Which it's not. But, you know, you call it whatever you want. Probably the best thing. You upload it to me. Put your name on it. So, and then you save it again. And it's saving. Look at that. Mr. G Best Project Save. And then. You got a crazy tune. And then you're just going to upload it on the BandLab Classroom. So for today, I hope you like it. Hope you understand. If there's any questions, you can email me. You can also do it on the BandLab Classroom. All right. See you guys.